Hi, we're here in Kaysville, Utah, just off of 200 North. Next time you find yourself waiting in line here at Wingers, Kaysville Commons, come on back to Dream Dinners and make yourself a wonderful gourmet dinner to take home in less time. Hi, welcome to Dream Dinners. We're glad you made it today. We'd like to show you how this works, what it's going to do for you, and we'd like you to try a meal and, and do everything just like we do. If you'll go over there and wash your hands, get an apron on, we'd love to get started. Dream Dinners is a meal assembly store. It's the first of meal assembly stores, so it's basically the mother. It was developed by two women, both working women that had kids, and they wanted to put dinners, good dinners, healthy dinners on the table for their kids. If you want to come over and try some warm food, we have a shrimp scampi with artichoke hearts and some apple crisp featured on next month's menu. This saves time, this saves money, this saves chopping and dicing and chopping and everything else for the moms and, and busy parents. And you know what, I have more empty nesters than I even have moms in here. It just makes sense for everybody. And I don't know if any of you are aware of it, but your, your spices go bad about after three months. So you'll find everything's very flavorful here. We go through our spices and we order our food weekly, so everything's really fresh. What's your most popular dish? One of them is the chicken parmesan or the honey glazed chicken that we're going to do today. The first couple times it's a little bit scary, a little bit interesting to do. All of your ingredients are here. Your measuring cups, your measuring spoons, everything is already in there for you. Everything's sliced, diced, and measured, okay? So this is really a no-brainer. This is really easy. They wanted one in Davis County, but they didn't necessarily want Kaysville. And Kaysville is my home. This is my community, and that's where I wanted to bring this to my friends, my family, the people that I know and cherish and, and wanted to do something good for my community. Chicken's already out here for you. It's frozen. It's fresh chicken that's just been ordered especially for you guys, okay? What you do is you go through. There's item one, item two, item three. My average family of six to get their to main the dish done, to dream dinners. it costs them, on average, anywhere from 18 to 28 is the most expensive dish that we have, and that's steak that kind of thing. And I actually went and did 10 dinners, 10 dinners um, from my recipes and went to the store and I bought the ingredients and I didn't include salt, pepper, things that I had on hand, me being LDS and in Utah, I had cream and mushroom soup too, so I didn't even include that. It cost $560 for just the groceries to, to put these dinners oh, together. Wow. In my store, it would have cost $260. Butter milk's right there. You're measuring scoops right in front of it. She's ahead of you. It puts dinner on the table. It gives you the chance to be together as a family, which is one of my biggest and strongest beliefs. And this just helps. This makes it easy. This makes life easy, and it just makes sense. Oh, and it's in order. With the Walmarts. You caught that, That is cool. We try to make this as the least amount of confusing as possible. This store has actually been open since May of last year. These make perfect things for weddings, for shower gifts, and especially for anybody that you know that is sick. As the walls were being built in this space, I was diagnosed with colon cancer. So uh, I took over the build out, worked with the contractors, with the vendors, the equipment uh, manufacturers, furniture manufacturers, and got everything in here scheduled and, and installed. My parents worked so hard. She's the one that went through chemotherapy with her, uh, got her to her doctor's appointments, her oncology appointments. Uh, pretty well did everything that uh, needed to be done for Carrie so that her family could go on a living. I had the choice of discon discontinuing and, and corporate was going to let me out of it. It's too good of a thing. This is a good thing. Um, and I had family and friends that were absolutely invaluable to me in support and making this place run. Made things a little bit harder to be here and know that we're doing this for the family but we weren't spending time with our family. We firmly believe as a family that this is part of Carrie's uh, rehabilitation. Uh, this is important to her. The success of this uh, uh, cares carefully coincides with the success of her recovery from the cancer. This is like her getaway, her thing to do. Her dream. Her, yeah, her dream. Knowing I had something to come back to, not only my friends and my family, but knowing that I had a business that needed to be viable, that it would be something that would be so beneficial to my community. This is my way of giving back. And I've had my family, especially my daughter, and friends, friends that worked for free come in and work and keep this place open until I could come back and say, this is my store and here we are. That's my community. That's why I'm here. These are all gourmet meals. They're made by um, and developed by gourmet chefs. It is. And it goes through a battery of 300 kids, so it's kid tested. Not only kid tested, but mother approved. If there was a dynamic that changed about my family, 
it's the appreciation and the gratitude that I have for them. I can't tell you how pleased we are to see this place up and functioning and working and Carrie sitting at her manager's desk and, and making it work. You just did your first dinner. How hard was that? That was so easy, man. You know, I think it's Carrie's personality, but her personality is one of service. And this is what she wanted to do, to bring to the community. Her whole life goal is our family and to make sure our family is right and everybody else's families are going great. It is something that is absolutely invaluable to know that you can count on them for anything in any situation. Um, we were a close family and now we're even closer and I don't know how we could have done that but it's actually something that I will cherish for as long as I live. My family is my family and they don't change. They just get better and better.